All right, hey guys, uh, this is an update video to my uh, target display mode. So as you can see, I am running the newest OS on my late 2013 27 inch iMac. This is running Ventura. And then I also have a late 2012 27 inch iMac. And this one is running uh, Monterey. And uh, these are both unsupported Macs, and I'm using the OpenCore Legacy Patcher uh, in order to install unsupported software on these older systems. Um, so I had a couple issues uh, with this computer, so I had to upgrade it to the latest version of OS Ventura, which runs awesome. Um, and I'm gonna keep this one uh, on Monterey. But anyway, uh, this is an update. Got the screensaver going. Got uh, an update to target display mode. Um, so, and it does work with a wireless keyboard, um, Mac or Windows keyboard. It works flawlessly. So, that is target display mode. As you can see, we've got the Mac, running, zero lag, Ventura, um, we'll go ahead and go up to the system settings. So they changed around the system settings on Ventura, which, you know, love it or hate it. Um, I actually kind of like it, the new system. Uh, so this is actual native target display mode. You use the hotkey command F2, and this is the other Mac. As an extended display, you can get all the resolutions, uh, adjust the brightness on it. and it works much better than uh, Apple's Air display. Uh, like I said, this one is running Ventura. Um, this one is running Monterey, but it still allows the target display mode to function. Um, I picked both of these up on eBay for this one, I think was $400 and this one was like $300. So, you know, for a budget system, uh, you know, 700 bucks, I've got two 27 inch monitors and they are hooked up using the Thunderbolt to Thunderbolt. And I'll just pull the desk out here and show you guys. So just a Thunderbolt cable running around to the other system, Thunderbolt to Thunderbolt. Go ahead and put that back. Uh, this is a great, Great thing for anyone who had target display mode on an older Mac and is looking to get it back because I know a lot of people have been having trouble with that. Um, and again, it does work with a Macintosh keyboard, uh, Command F2. And that'll go ahead and turn it off. So see, it's back to Monterey. And there was some issue uh, in my last video that uh, I thought you had to have a Windows keyboard, but what it was is just some random settings that I had on my keyboard. So if you've got uh, an older Mac laying around uh, and you wanna be able to do this, um, it's fantastic that this still works, so. And F2, boom. Um, and like I said, this one is actually running Monterey. And I'm gonna keep it on Monterey for now because uh, my little printer over there, I was able to get software for Monterey. Uh, however, it does not work for Ventura, but I can go into the sharing settings on this computer, I can just go into uh, go into 
printers and just share the printer on the network and that allows Ventura to see it. Uh, but Canon has not released a, a driver for that. So, and I don't think they're going to, but it's no big deal. Um, the reason I upgraded this one to Ventura uh, was I had an issue with the open core patcher. Um, something got updated, so then I tried to uh, redo the post install uh, root patches. So, hold that up. Do, do, do. Where are you? There it is. Okay, so. When you first start the patcher, you build and install open core. And then once it's done installing, you have to do the post install root patches. Well, uh, I installed the post root patches again because something had updated and it wasn't functioning correctly. And when I did that, I got stuck in a boot loop. So the video or the, uh, it would log, get to the login screen, I'd hit the password and then it would just sit there and spin for a, a minute and then reset and then it would just ask me for the password again and I could not log into my computer. So I just installed uh, Ventura on this system and good news, uh, Target Display still works with two different operating systems. Now, uh, there is one issue that I noticed there's no forward compatibility. So since this one is running a new OS and this one uh, is on uh, Monterey, the older OS, you can't uh, target display Monterey over to this one. Otherwise you get some, I'll show you that. Oh, I stand corrected. Look at that. It was giving me some weird uh, some weird graphical issues. Uh, so that's, that's new. Um, the command F2, you can, uh, take this screen and go to that screen. I tried it last week and it was giving me all sorts of weird graphical issues on this one. So that's actual, actually, uh, forward compatibility because you're going from an old OS to a new OS and target display mode is still working. Apparently that's that's awesome. It was not working last week. Uh, I did reseat the the Thunderbolt cable in the back, so that may have something to do with it. Uh, anyway, I uh, hope this update video helps you guys. I know there was some confusion last time with the keyboard and whatnot, but uh, I got a, upgraded to a wireless keyboard, which really helps out um, when you just need to do target display and then continue working. So. I hope this video helps you guys. Um, I know there is some, there's also some other compatibility issues with uh, which models support target display mode. So if you have an older iMac, uh, check Apple's website and I'll put the, that link in the description of this video um, because not all old iMacs can support target display mode. I do know, I th I believe it's the 2015 model and up. Uh, if you've got like a Retina iMac, Retina display, that does not support target display mode. So you cannot just use it as a display. But like I said, I got both of these on eBay for a couple hundred bucks. Um, and this one was more expensive because it has a four gig graphics card. Um, this one over here was like 200, 300 bucks. So, um, if you're looking for a budget display, instead of buying a studio display, get an old iMac.